California, the land of dreams, where stars are made, fortunes won, and ideas as grand as Hollywood plots take shape. But amidst the glitz and glamour, there's a tale shrouded in uncertainty and, dare I say, chaos. Picture this, a $128 billion vision, a high-speed rail that would connect the dazzling cities of San Francisco and Los Angeles, cutting travel time from a grueling six hours to a breezy three. The stuff dreams are made of, right? Well, my friends, grab your popcorn because this story has more twists than a Hollywood blockbuster. In this episode, we're diving headfirst into America's most expensive infrastructure project ever. Buckle up, because this is a wild ride through the world of politics, budgets gone berserk, and a dash of hope. If you're enjoying this, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and help us hit our millionaire milestone. Let's go! Now, before we zoom back into the twists and turns of this high-speed rail saga, let's rewind and dive deeper into why California decided to embark on this mega rail journey in the first place. Picture California, not just as a state but as an economic juggernaut. It's not just rich, it's the wealthy uncle in the family. With a GDP of 3.6 trillion US dollars, California stands as the fifth largest economy in the world all on its own. And, with nearly 40 million residents, it has more people than the whole of Canada. But here's where the plot thickens. All that wealth and activity, it's not spread evenly. It's concentrated like the gold rush of old, in just two key coastal regions, San Francisco Bay and Greater Los Angeles. Together, these urban powerhouses account for more than half of the entire state's population. But, there's a catch. Travel between these two glittering gems? It's like a Cinderella story before the fairy godmother shows up. On average, it takes a soul-crushing six hours to navigate the highway labyrinth, and that's without the terrible traffic. Now, here's the kicker. The only existing alternative is a 90-minute domestic flight, which, let's be real, isn't the greenest option for our planet. So, faced with these hurdles, California decided it needed a game-changer. And that's where our high-speed rail superhero swoops in. The California High-Speed Rail Authority, established in 1996, had a grand vision, create a high-speed rail system that would link all of California's major population centers. Picture a network where people can hop from city to city like superheroes. The dream was big, bold, and beautiful. But, for this dream to take flight, it needed the approval of Californians. So, in 2008, the project's developers laid it all on the line. They put the idea to the vote, and guess what? A whopping 53% of Californians gave it a green light. But wait, there's more. They didn't stop at a simple yes. They tossed a $9 billion bond into the ring. It was the starter pistol for this epic race to connect cities in record time. So, the stage was set, the actors were in place, and the cameras started rolling. What California was about to embark on was nothing short of an epic production. But, hold on to your hats, folks, cause here's where the plot thickens. When the project got the green light in 08, it only had $9 billion secured out of the whopping $33 billion needed. They bet big on federal help, like a poker player going all in. So, where was the rest of the moolah supposed to come from? The master plan relied heavily on the federal government, with a promise of a hefty $12 to $16 billion. But here's where our plot took an unexpected twist. Instead of a money train rolling in from Washington, there were just a few crumpled dollar bills blowing in the wind. Yes, Congress, in the years following the vote, allocated a measly $3 billion of the promised $16 billion. Can you imagine the project's developers, huddled together, counting those dollars, and realizing they'd need much more than that to turn this dream into reality? The costs started climbing like a rocket heading to space. Inflation, skyrocketing construction costs, and rising material prices turned that initial $33 billion estimate into a jaw-dropping $128 billion. And here's the rub. With Uncle Sam seemingly too busy to send in reinforcements, the project found itself in a financial quagmire. They needed to pull a rabbit out of the hat, and it wasn't a well-funded magician's hat. It was more like a hat with a couple of crumpled dollars at the bottom. So, here's the crux of it. This high-speed rail, intended to revolutionize California's travel landscape, was trying to move forward with only a fraction of the funds it needed. And with those mounting costs and the constant need for more resources, it's no wonder this project became an ongoing financial puzzle. But wait, there's more. America's legal system jumps into the scene like an unexpected plot twist. California's got some of the strictest environmental laws around. These laws are no joke. They're like the referee in a high-stakes game. Now, imagine you're trying to build a massive high-speed rail system that cuts across the state. 
You're going to cross all sorts of terrains and ecosystems, right? Well, here's where it gets tricky. These environmental laws, which are there to protect California's stunning natural beauty, have made the path for the high-speed rail more like navigating through a labyrinth. You see, before any shovel could touch the ground, they had to go through a lengthy and complicated environmental clearing process. This process is so rigorous that it's taken a toll on the project's budget and timeline. Just securing the necessary environmental clearances has cost the project's developers a whopping $1.3 billion. Yes, you heard that right. It's like having to pay a massive toll to enter the land of green lights and clearances. But these laws are crucial to protect California's fragile ecosystems. This project had to tiptoe around protected habitats, sensitive wildlife, and pristine landscapes. Every move was scrutinized, and every impact had to be minimized. Now, don't get me wrong, protecting the environment is essential. But the web of laws made it feel like navigating through a minefield. It's like trying to dance gracefully in a room full of laser beams without setting off any alarms. So, here's the catch. This painstaking process, while noble in its intent, has also contributed to the project's significant delays. It's like trying to run a marathon with a weighty backpack. You'll get there, but it's going to take much longer. So, while these environmental laws have been a thorn in the project's side, they've also ensured that the high-speed rail will be built with utmost care for California's environment. It's a tough balance to strike, but it's one that Californians value deeply. So, here's the updated game plan, and trust me, it's like a plot twist in a Hollywood blockbuster. Instead of that glorious L. A. To San Fran route, they're going for something a bit more. Practical. Picture this, a smaller, more cost-effective segment from Merced to Bakersfield. Sure, the Merced-Bakersfield route might not sound glamorous, but it's the only part that's not draining the bank dry. It's like trying to make your epic movie's climax in your neighbor's garage because you ran out of cash for Hollywood studios. You've got your actors, your script, your vision, but sometimes, you've got to make do with what you've got, right? Now, imagine the rest of the movie? Well, it's on pause, like hitting the pause button on your blockbuster because the budget got blown on special effects. No concrete timeline, no juicy details. It's like waiting for the sequel of your favorite movie, but the scriptwriters are still brainstorming, folks. And what about the sequel, with tracks leading to Sacramento and San Diego? Well, it's still in the brainstorming phase, like a movie franchise planning its next big installment. So, while we might not have a release date for the next installment, rest assured, California's high-speed rail project isn't over. It's just taking an intermission, grabbing some popcorn, and getting ready for the grand finale. But, here's the twist, while many are slamming this project with a train-to-nowhere label, some folks still believe. Over $10 billion has already been spent. Bridges, viaducts, and underpasses are sprouting up. And guess what? Jobs are on the rise too. The California high-speed rail could still have a Hollywood ending. With the new administration, led by Joe Biden, on board, there's hope that Uncle Sam will finally pitch in. But, it's not just about dollars, it's about a vision. A vision that started as a blockbuster idea and could still be won. So, what's your take on this high-speed drama? Is America ready to hop on the high-speed train? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for riding this roller coaster with us. If you want more thrilling tales of construction and catastrophe, don't forget to check out our video on the biggest construction mistakes in the world. Trust me, it's another epic story.